One thing that I didn't mention is um, when you arrive at the Bangkok airport, um, what will happen is if you successfully get through immigration, once you get your bags, you will be picked up by a taxi driver and you will be driven straight to your hotel. You will not have any chance to do anything. You won't be able to buy anything outside. You won't be able to buy a SIM card. Um, there might be SIM cards available at the airport. Some people said there are. Um, I think I was so tired from my flight and I didn't have any Thai bot on me. And, and, and something you find interesting is there is no place to exchange money at the airport. So if you're if you're planning on buying a SIM card to have like an extra 4G internet available, you know, if you if you're worried about the hotel internet not being fast enough, then uh, make sure you have some Thai baht in your wallet. Otherwise, you know, you won't have a chance. Um, in terms of whether or not there will be any shop selling these SIM cards, I mean, I didn't see anything, to be honest. Everything was closed. They're extremely strict right now. I don't know if these shops were open before, but I didn't see, yeah, I didn't see anything open. I was sent straight to my taxi, and um, once you get in the taxi, there's this kind of um, plastic, what do you call it, perplex? This kind of plastic barrier, like a transparent, almost glass-like barrier in front of you. Um, so yeah, they're very careful, they're very worried about COVID, and they've got all these rules in place. Um, so yeah, I was driven straight to my uh, hotel, and then when I arrived, there was even a, like a gate in front of the entrance. Um, and they have all these, you know, various procedures in place to uh, be extra safe. So uh, yeah, it, it it'll be a very interesting journey for for anyone that wants to kind of follow follow in my footsteps. So, thanks for listening.